If you want to use Mendeley, you have to create a free account. You'd want to anyway. This is what enables you to use Mendeley on more than one device. It also provides a backup of your database on their servers. So you can select the Create Account link, and first it will prompt you for your email. Then all you have to do is fill in your first name, last name, and then it gives you some rules for the password, and then you'll be able to download Mendeley Desktop. It detects your operating system. I'm using Windows. I've already downloaded Mendeley Desktop, so I'll go ahead and launch it. The install uses a wizard, so there's several screens you have to go through. I'm going to select the next button for the first screen. It leads to the license agreement. You want to read through that, and if you agree, select the I agree button. And the next screen talks about the install location, and then it also tells you how much space is required. I'm going to select the next button. And the last screen before the install tells you what it's going to be called in the Start Menu folder, which is Mendeley Desktop, which makes sense. So I'm going to select the Install button, and it begins the install. When the install finishes, it allows you to run Mendeley Desktop. There's a checkbox. I'm going to leave it checked, and I'm going to go ahead and select Finish button. When Mendeley Desktop launches, it'll prompt you for your email and password that you created on Mendeley.com. Once you log on, there'll be a Welcome to Mandalay screen. It'll allow you to import documents to your library if you want to. If you have Microsoft Word, I recommend that you install the Citation plugin. If it wasn't installed, it would give you an Install button. And when you close this Welcome screen, it gives you a few tips. The first one is how to add and create entries in Mandalay. I'm going to select the Next button. Then it tells you a little bit about the storage, what's local and what's on their server. And then I'm going to select the Next button. Lastly, they tell you about the Help button. And then once I select the Close button, then I'm ready to start using Mendeley. If you have not used Mendeley before, your database will be empty.